Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video uh, where we left off before on the Eddie Van Halen segmented video uh, that we had just made that that really amazing pen. I was really happy the way that it came out. But now I've got these two leftover blanks. This one's too short. This was the first one that we made that I went step by step with in the video and the lines do not line up correctly so what are we going to do with that one and then this one everything lines up but uh just wasn't particularly happy with it because it didn't have enough going on with it uh, it wasn't exactly correct scale wise with the white lines so um had a little bit of a, a of a, a thought here of what to do with these. So I'm only gonna do one, which is gonna be this one here that that's a little bit short and that doesn't exactly line up correctly. So we're gonna make this into a guitar pick. So we're gonna cut this in half right here, down the main line that you see, and then um, I'm gonna glue it together and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to uh, uh, book match it or just offset it. Probably book matching, I think, would look the best. Um, anyway, we'll I'll play with it real quick. As soon as I cut this in half, we'll come right back. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, what this looks like. That looks pretty cool like that. You know, like that looks pretty good. Um, not so much like that. When you consider this is the, the size of the guitar pick. That's not too bad. Kind of get a pretty good feel of it like that. You know, I think just for simplicity design, we'll just go with that like that. So we'll just glue that up real quick. And then I don't think that when I, I mean, it may look like I can get two out of that, but once you account for that saw cut, I'm not sure if I'll get two or not. Um, I can just try and see what happens, but worst case scenario, I'll get one really cool looking um, guitar pick out of that. Okay, so that is it traced out right there. I think that'll look kind of cool. See what that's like. Okay, so we got two of them out of that blank. Um, but one is very thin. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but we'll just uh, play with it and see how it looks. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out real quick. Okay, so back at the lathe, 
I've got my uh, my modified disc sander over here, and this is a little plate that I made that that switches up where the uh, tool holder goes. If you've never seen this, this just pops right in here. And voila, now I've got a disc sander hooked up to desk collection, of course. And then all I have to do is follow the lines right here. And um, we'll get ready to, to go ahead and start that up. Now, darken the lines up a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see, but um, I can see it from my vantage point a lot better now uh, than with just uh, using the pencil lead. So anyway, I've got two of these, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna sand one down, follow the edge real quick, and then I'll do the other one off camera and then we'll come back uh, after that. That's relatively quick to do that. Okay, this is the longest part. Now I switched out my sanding disc to a uh, Jacobs chuck and just a little uh, Dremel wheel. So now it's just a matter of just shaping everything out. This takes about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so here we are after about 15 minutes of sanding. Um, I lost my touch. It's been years since I've made one. Not actually looking too bad though. Um, you see it's contoured right here on both sides. You can hold it. It actually looks pretty good. Um, anyway, so I started out with the Dremel. This is just a um, like a, a medium grit. Uh, I'm not even sure what grit that is. Um, anyway, that's what that is. Kind of a coarse, coarse medium. And then I switched to this one, which is an 80. And then to this one over here, which is more of a fine. So anyway, after a bit of sanding, I ended up uh, getting that one there, which looks pretty good. And that also included this one over here. So I was able to get two out of that blank without any uh, real loss. One, this one's a little bit thinner than this one. And on the very back, you can see right there, I got a little chip out right there. But that's not a big deal. It's, I wouldn't recommend using these anyway, but I think they just look kind of cool. So I just wanted to see what I could do with those scraps. And, um, you know, not too bad. I'm just gonna put a little um, CA on them, flood the blank, or fl not the blank, flood the picks. Let that uh, CA seep in or through it. You know, um, never mind. I, I, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna rub some uh, some uh, oil finish on it instead, and uh, just kind of go with that because they're not gonna be used. They don't need to be uh, stabilized like that. So, but anyway, that is it. Um, not a real long process, but I just wanted to see what I could do with the scraps, and not too bad. Um, I I don't know about the book matching though. If that is was worth it or not so 
Let me know in the comments what you think, if that was, if that was a good move or not. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.